G'day Adam VK4GHZ, welcome back. This is part three of the Brisbane Microwave Activity Day and we're up at 5.7 gigs. This unit here is the uh, 5.7 and 10 gig transverter box and the, uh, the two horns, the whole thing just clamps onto the vertical pipe using a couple of uh, U-clamps and wing nuts and the, the green material is an old chopping board that was just convenient to use. Quinton 4AQF has just arrived. Say hello to the world. Greetings. Greetings and salutations or just greetings? Both. There you go. What sort of mood I'm in. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> VK4 ADC, VK4 UH Portable, VK4 UH Portable at Howells Knob at Mullaney calling. 5.7 gigs, VK4 ADC Portable, VK4 UH Portable listening for you. VK4 UH, VK4 UH Portable, VK4 ADC Portable at Nandrabat. Good signal from you, Kevin. You're 5.9 plus about 20, 5.9 plus 20. Uh, I'm running about 10 milliwatts into uh, dual band feed into to a, um, a grid pack. So, I'm going to turn down the signal. So, uh, yeah, good signal from you. And uh, this is the first contact on the home route 5.7 transverter. VK4UH, portable. VK4ADC, portable. Roger, Doug. VK4ADC, portable. VK4UH, Paul. Very happy to be your first contact on the new radio. Uh, you're only my second on this band, so uh, I'm pretty happy too. Uh, I'm running 9 watts here to a 600 mil dish with a dual band feed uh, fed through coax, so I'm pretty happy too. Excellent, really good signals, they're strong and the quality is very fine. No distortion and no QSB on this path at, at this frequency anyway. Thanks very much Doug and um, we'll look for you on another day. VK4 ADC, VK4 UH Portable. Seventy threes VK four UH portables monitoring. Yeah, very fine signal quick and you're all five and nine plus about thirty dB according to the there's a meter here. Very loud signal indeed. How are you from me? Yeah, VK four UH, VK four AQF. I'm uh, yeah, about the same report here. You're well over the nine. I've just um got this five gig transverter um fixed up, it had a dead, one of the front end devices was dead, so I bypassed it, so the single front end seems to be working fine, so I'm um, quite happy with that, and just running into a horn, so um, put it on, and uh, very, very, very good copy. Yeah, running about um, 80 milliwatts, uh, over. Oh, terrific, that sounds really good. We have a horn here as well, which we're going to try in a moment, so if you guys will just stand by, VK4 AQR, VK4 ADC, we're going to switch antennas to a horn, so stand by. Yeah, QSL. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Doug was saying how wonderful it is optimised. Um, but that's good. That's good. And um, you can see the horn down a little bit less gain. I haven't got a lot of gain here. This horn is only a um, about a six inch horn. Um, so it's not, a, it's not a lot of 15 centimetres aperture. Quite a broad sort of horn. And it's just sitting on top of the transverter. So, um, five, four inch. Yeah, four inch, well, yeah, four inch, four inch, four inch in one direction. <laughs> so we don't have a lot of gain in that, but um, that's good. So, uh, yeah, look, I'd better get back to these other fellas, but uh, great to work you, and oh, I need to work on ADC for their people uh, actually in the log. BK4, AQS, BK4, OE. Okay, I'll let you do that and let you get back to the others. BK4, AQF, or something. BK4, OE, BK4, ADC, portable. Yeah, okay, Doug. Well, you're five and nine on my meter, so I'll give you nine. 
Alright, thanks again. VK4OE, VK4ADC, and I could hear 4WT, but he obviously wasn't hearing me. VK4CZ, VK4ADC portable. VK4 ADC, VK4 ADC, VK4 ADC, VK4 Charlie Zulu Portable, VK4 Charlie Zulu Portable, VK4 ADC, VK4 ADC, VK4 ADC, VK4 Charlie Zulu Portable. You're okay Scotty, 20 to 30 over 9, uh, 20 to 30 over 9, VK4 ADC Portable. Yeah okay, QSL Doug, not real strong, a lot of, uh, a lot of QSB on the path, 5 and 1, 51, 5 and 1, 51, QSL. Okay, is that any better now? Yeah, QSL 5 and 3, 53. Alright, I haven't peaked it on you. Can you just put a signal up? Uh, can you put carrier up or something so I can try to peak it? Yeah, QSL, carrier coming up now. Just a bit of difference. VK4 ADC, VK4 Charlie Zulu, how now? Oh, uh, I don't think I can go any further than 60, that's as, mar as far as the bar graph goes. I should be a bit stronger your in though. Yeah, okay, the, that's, that's just on the horn antenna, that's just on the, um, the homebrew horn. Well, you're reading 60 over on the scale, so that's about as far as I can go. So I'm, I've got a hope of working uh, Kevin 4UH now. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Oh, very good. Well, uh, I'm going to think there's anyone else to work on Tengi, so I'll take this one up and then it's uh, 24, uh, Doug, when you're ready. Alright, okay, thank you, Scotty. Very much appreciated. Alright, that's the, uh, the bearing for Scott 4CZ and Peter VK 4EA. And a little bit further. That's the bearing for um, Doug VK4OE. VK4OE, VK4OE, VK4ADC portable. Yeah, VK4ADC uh, portable. Uh, no, it's a bit hard for me to peek on you because you're 60 over 9, Doug. Um, this is around about the 10 milliwatt mark into the horn. This is 10 milliwatts into the horn. So, um, not gigantic this end. I do have another antenna I want to try, but uh, I can try that just on the beacon just to see uh, how much difference I get between the, the different antennas. Uh, but at least it's working, which is what it wasn't doing earlier. The K4OE portable, the K4ADC portable, Mount Cravat. Yeah, okay, Ted, we'll be around the K4OE for sure. Oh, by the way, my dial reads 098.88 as well. Alright, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. Um, so you're not using a direct path? No, it's uh, moving your direction, but there's a big cloud in between us, so it's not for shifting us. But I'm telling you, I'm getting good sense from you, but you hear you very clearly. Okay, actually, I'm just looking at where the, my dish in the horizon. Maybe I'm, I'm aimed a little bit low in elevation. So, uh, all right, I'll, uh, I'll give you more carrier. Then uh, I'll get you to provide me with a signal, and I'll uh, optimise again. Yeah, my Okay, let me optimise on you. Um, okay. There it is. 
Oh. Okay, KJ, drop off. I've just optimised it. I'm ported up into that dark uh, grey cloud now. Okay, it's got that auroral sound to it, by the way. Here, here we go. That sounds like it. VK4UH Portable, VK4UH Portable. This is Victor Kilo for Golf Hotel Zulu Portable. VK4GHZ Portable. You are four and one, 41, four and one, over, over. Roger, roger, VK4GHZ. Thank you for the four by one. You are four by nine plus 20, four by nine plus 20. 4x9 plus 20 with marked uh, aurora sound on it from, uh, from rain scatter over over. Yeah, Roger, uh, KJ, thank you for the 4 and 9. Uh, wow, that must mean my system's a little bit uh, deaf still. Thought I'd resolve that problem, but um, thank you for 4 and 9. You're 4 and 1, 41 over over. Roger, Roger, QSL the 4x1, 41, 41. Uh, we've recorded this and it's a really interesting signal to hear. VK4 UH portable. Okay, KJ, um, thanks for that. I won't hold it. Um, copy's a little bit light, but um, <laughs> I was hoping it would be a little bit more, my, uh, my sense system would be a little bit more sensitive. Over. Cheers. Oh well, it's uh, one contact at least. Very unusual effect when you're uh, bouncing off clouds. It tends to sound uh, a bit like uh, a rural propagation. But it should be a fairly easy contact, I think. VK4 OE, VK4 OE, VK4 Oscar Echo, VK4 Charlie Zulu, 124 gigahertz, VK4 CZ. VK4OE, VK4CZ on uh, 2 metres, are you hearing this stuff? VK4OE, VK4OE, VK4 Oscar Echo, VK4 Charlie Zulu, VK4CZ K4 Charlie Zulu on 24 gigahertz. Yeah, I want to go to optimize when you're transmitting to me. To, I think the received performance of what you've got there is not as good as what I've got here. So um, that's why you're not copying me properly, uh, which is the first time I've tried it in a uh, less than short contact. Um, so yeah, as I say, uh, I'm copying you loud and clear. And I'd like to try and pick my beam on you so that you get the maximum signal from me, VK4CZ, uh, vk 4 we Trying everything, I've moved uh, the feed up here a little bit and uh, just not hearing you. So I'm going to pull up uh, stakes and uh, and pack everything away uh, after uh, what I feel has been a very successful morning. Alright, thanks again. Thanks to the Brisbane VHF group members who uh, got out and had a bit of a play. This is VK4EA signing for the uh, activity day in February. Cheers. Hi, it's Scott, VK4CZ again. Just finished packing up here at Cobble Creek, about to head home. Thanks everyone for participating. Been uh, certainly a lot of fun up here. A few issues with uh, some of the equipment, but one of those things I think that always happens. Anyway, all the best. 
that's the Brisbane Microwave Activity Day. Hope you've enjoyed watching it. We've had a lot of fun. There's always a few problems and dramas that come out, but hey, that's part of it. You get in there, fix it up, and come back bigger and better and work longer distances next time. A big, big thank you to the guys who went to some effort of shooting video for us today. Alphabetically, we've got VK4ADC Doug, VK4CZ Scott, VK4EA Peter, and VK4IIO Phil, who we never saw, but was up there at Mullaney with KJ and Jeff. Big, big thank you to those guys. We've been really, really lucky today with the weather, just uh, managing to miss the rain, uh, which is not bad considering what Queensland's gone through in recent months. So very lucky there. It's always good to get out in the field and uh, play microwaves and experiment. So on that note, this is Adam, VK4GHZ, and we'll see you next time.